Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to Mr. Sleepy Biscuit Boy. Are you sleepy? Are you ready for another episode of Biscuit Swap? No, please. Welcome back, my loves, to another episode of Wife Swap Australia. Oh no, it's not, is it? Wife Swap New Zealand, girls. Hooray, everyone's dead. I am still suffering with some sort of plague between the ears and sort of head cold, perhaps. Oh, do you want to leave me already? Do you? Do you want to go on the floor already? We haven't said hello to our adoring public yet, Mr. Biscuit. You have to put on the bouffoirage. I don't want to put on the bouffoirage. Always so yawning. Not enough time to sleep, apparently. So, my lovelies, it's been a little while since I've done one of these episodes, but you guys are absolutely thoroughly enjoying the concept of wife swap New Zealand. Another yawn. Thank you. The yawn harvest is abundant this time of year. She's obsessed with it. In the last episode of Wife Swap New Zealand, girls, we saw actually our first gay couple. Now, I did actually open it up to the discourse in the comments of if we've actually seen any other gay couples, like on Wife Swap at all. And generally the consensus is that we haven't, at least not in the ones that aren't celebrity. I mean, of course we've had Pete Burns' Wife Swap, which I would love to watch here on the Chanel, if anybody is interested. Ooh. Maybe we'll get a special guest in for that one. Hello, who's pussy is this? So my lovelies, I said a comment in the last episode, which kind of riled a few guys up in the discourse of the comments. And I can understand why, because it is a pretty strong, opinion to hold, should we say, but I'm not going to change my opinion on it. So, one of the top comments on the last episode of Wife Swap New Zealand Girls was by Lord Byron Keith 9488, and they say, in quotes, I do not want equality, I want revenge. Never have I felt more connected to a statement. Yes, I did in fact say, I don't want equality, I want revenge. And the reason for this is, in the last couple of years especially, it's sort of becoming painfully aware that the tides have turned on LGBT acceptance. And there is a group of like gays, especially like gays without the T, what's it called? LGB without the T, or gay not queer or whatever, whatever the fuck they want to call themselves, are very much like, oh, we're not like the other queers. No, we're very easy, palatable. In fact, I'm a pick me, pick me to survive the apocalypse. No, thank you. And I just tire of it. I grow so weary of begging for the crumbs of acceptance from the cake of privilege. I am so over it. So no, I don't really care for equality. I kind of do want revenge. And I mean that in a way of like, just let me f***ing live. I do not care what your little meandering cautionary tales are. I don't care. It doesn't apply to most of us. In fact, it doesn't really apply to any of us. With that being said, my lovelies, I think it's time that we watch another episode of Wife Swap New Zealand Girls. Today we are on episode five of season one. I don't know what we're going to expect, my lovely biscuit. What? What do you think we'll see? Old maiden type of shoes. Right, my lovelies, make sure. Oh, you want to go on your pillow? Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Crisis averted. Yes, crisis. He does this thing where he wants to get off my lap and then as soon as I put him on the floor, he looks at me like, why have you taken me off your lap? How dare you? And it's like, that's, that's, that's what you wanted, sir. No thanks. I choose my own destiny. So my lovelies, whilst I defluff myself, make sure you grab yourself a beverage and pop your ohinger right into your little New Zealand hole and let's watch Wife Swap New Zealand Girls. Goodness me, what are we gonna say today? On Wife Swap Oh, New that's Zealand. very tilt shift framing right there. Okay. Meet the Estales. The Estales. Mom, Yana, who's a community advisor. Yana. Dad Simon, who's a self-employed tradesman. And their children, 12-year-old Sean, Sean and Jade, who's eight. We met Jade. at a friend's party. Just seemed to head it off straight away. He's a really good guy. First time I saw him. Oh, I like that top. That's exciting. Oh, I like the daggers. That, but in leather and in a dress. Yes, please. Right, sorry, what are they saying? He's a really good guy. First time I saw him, you feel like he's very, well, to me, very safe. You feel very comfortable. And um, and after we moved together, and he always tried to look after me. Oh, that's we're nice. Very it's very important. <laughs> we're not often apart at all. So Lots of kissing. Together, Is that the we... first kissing we've actually seen? In Why Swap, I remember in the last episode we didn't see any kissing now because they were like, just too many guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, he is yeah, in we love. See every day, it's like, every day it seems weird, very, well, especially him, excited. In my household, uh, my parents, um, they live in the granny flat, and if mum here, they live in the granny flat. Take over. Like, uh, my house is her house. She does anything she wants. I'm very strict, mum. 
Monday to Friday, no screen times. Um, weekends, with conditions, <laughs> you need to pass exams, housework, and then you may have time to play games. Okay, that's not terrible. I think with an asterisk, sometimes I feel like we see strict parenting here on this Chanel, and I just don't feel like it's appropriate because I am a great fan of the phrase of like, super strict parents don't bring up better children, they raise better liars. Ah. Is that tea? I myself, when I was younger, my parents tried to be very, very, very strict with me. In fact, to the point where it was kind of infringing on my identity here as a human being on this planet, which is a problem. It is a problem. Looking back, I do kind of wish my parents had been a bit more supportive, but that was under the guise of like, oh my God, strict parenting. So I do feel like sometimes strict parenting can be quite misguided and it's very difficult sometimes to see the difference between strict parenting and a parent being horrible. She tells us to do a lot of homework most of the times. Yes. Yeah, I want to I say, how do you work it out? Don't just give me an answer. I think the Kiwi way is more like enjoy. But in the Chinese way, it's like, do the right. <laughs> I think... There I'm has to be a balance, though, surely, of like, do the right thing, but also enjoy yourself. No? I'm funny, but... But sometimes she can be a bit growly when we Gosh. don't do stuff like what she tells us to do. Come on, hurry up. I mean, being a parent okay, is stress. Okay, I need things to do. Stress, stress, stress. And I want you guys just to focus on your homework, okay? I think they think their new <laughs> the mum children, is, yes. is going to be, um, the rules are going to be easier. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Switch always the think their mum is the hardest, the nastiest. I did ask you, Sean, why didn't you put the dishes away? So they think the new mums is just going to be, I don't know, yeah, they might nicer, be in for a shot. Probably. Nicer and more loving. More loving? Across Ooh. town are the Wallen Camps. Sure Mum, Mandy, the a Wallen teacher aide, software programmer Dad Marcus, Marcus, and their three children, Jamie, who's ten, seven-year-old Ashton, Ashton, their youngest, Brooke, who's four, Brooke. and rescue dog, Jesse. Oh, we probably yeah, 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 met baby. going out, having a lot of fun together. Um, we decided we'd want to get married, so we, I proposed to her to get married. And then we had our first mistake, the, the little girl. <laughs> Am I allowed to call her a mistake? No, of course I can, because she was. She knows she was. Uh, we say mistakes because I would... Don't say mistake. Don't call your child a mistake on television. You can say a happy accident, but mistake. Mistake is like you'd change it if you could. Children. We had our first mistake, the, the little girl. <laughs> Am I allowed to call her a mistake? No, of course I can, because she was. Right, she knows she was. Uh, we say mistakes because I was told that I could not have children, and then we ended up with three. Wow. Whoever diagnosed you with being unable to have children, they need to look for a new job. This here's our doggie. We got her six Dog. months ago. She's the fourth mistake. <laughs> but she's still oh. quite funny around people, and she's mm, not great. I'm not sure I appreciate this, like, straight man joke of like, Ah, everything in my life's a mistake, lol. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I know you did it there, but let me get this. But she's still quite funny around people, and she's not great around dogs. Did you hear that, Biscuit? Not great around other dogs. You are, but you love to scream your head off for the first seven and a half minutes, and then you're all right. Did you hear that? Somebody else on TV, just like you. Oh, yeah, got to be mad to work here, but you do have to bark. It's definitely a lot of energy in this house. Lots of physical sports, jumping on the trampoline, or jumping on the couches and the beds and stuff even. Is but that I do a think typical New Zealand accent? I've not heard... She sounds almost like there's sort of like a posh Surrey twang to her accent, like the trampoline. Trampoline. The trampoline? Definitely a lot of energy in this house. Lots of physical oh. sports, jumping on the trampoline, or the jumping trampoline. on the couches and the beds and stuff even. Bed. But I do think there's also, like I read to the kids. <gasps> My corn nuggets are ready, girls! She eats. But I do think there's also... Like I read to the kids every day. So Ooh. I'd say we're pretty balanced. She can read. Extravagant. The Extravagant. library. And I like things to be done when Man. I think they need to be done and how I think they need to be okay, done. So, so she also I generally just do it myself or I tell Marcus how I want him to do it <laughs> for me. My mum is like, she's really nice. She's 2019, really do you cute. remember that? God. I mean, she gets really, really, really angry and that's like never. I think what's really good about Mandy is she doesn't have like these you know, strict rules and things with kids. She just lets them be children. Um, okay. It's an amazing way of bringing them up to respect people and, you know, be kind as possible. So okay. she's really good. I think That's I'm a pretty tea. good mom. I try and be patient. Eyes are I try so and be blue. kind and be nurturing and all the things that my mom was with me. I don't think I'm strict enough, but um, something I could work on, I suppose. Do I start? No, I can start, but you need to be looking at me. 
I think the biggest rule that we have that we tell our kids every day, and Mandy mentions every day, is you just have to be as kind as you possibly can to yeah. everyone. That's all okay. I really want for them. I don't mind if they don't get the best marks or the best at sports, as long as they're nice and respectful to everyone. That's, oh, I think there's a balance, though. Pretty... There's a balance of being able to do exceptionally well at things, but also be kind whilst you do it. That's the only rule, really. It's the morning of the swap, and Mandy oh, look at and the houses. are oh. packing. How many cars can you have at a house? Ah, three cars at your own home. Oh, I wish. And Mandy and Yannon are packing before What's they leave. What's that? Is that I some sort of chili? Just water. in case we end up at the beach oh, and sunnies, because you always need those. Oh, that's not Jesse, that. you can't come. You've got to stay here, baby. Okay. Oh, Will you, or you'll dog. miss me? Yeah. Biscuit! What are you doing, Biscuit? Biscuit! Mm, suspiciously quiet. Hello. If you can hear chewing sounds in the background, it's biscuit with some sort of beef strip. <laughs> I miss you too, Jade. The last time that I was this scared was probably when we were on the hospital to go and have Jamie. Oh dear. So, yes. Well, that's quite scary then. Fingers crossed. Luckily, you're not having another hand baby. <laughs> I'm just looking to make sure there's not Pasta. anything too sexy in this. Mama. <laughs> Wait, what? Going to make sure there's not anything too sexy in this. You're going somewhere Mommy. somewhere else, you don't need to look too sexy. Okay, yeah, so I have got my book and I have got my cross stitch. That is a weird comment. Ooh, weird comment. Don't try and police the way the women in your life dress. Creepy. And my jandals. Jandals? So, jandals? Jeans and sandals? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> The wives have agreed Did you see to the hand... panic in her <laughs> face sure. then? So she's picked up a silk bra, which isn't obscene. I don't think that's obscene to wear like a comfy fitting bra. <laughs> but the child is like, oh, but, but she's looking at him like, don't comment, please. That or I'm getting a vibe. Every bay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, the wives have agreed all. to hand Ooh. over their phone. Oh, suddenly got a bad taste in my mouth, girls. And it's not. The monster. Before they leave, they have no idea. No where phone. They're going. Turn your phone off, Naughty. Love you. Okay, goodbye forever. Mummy is going over there to do all that. Mm -hmm. See you, baby. Into the vehicle. Off you go. Bye, girls. Bye, baby. Jeep. See you later. 59A. Oh, goodbye. Later. Look at that Bye. house. Oh, these houses, they make me feel unwell. They're so gorgina girl. The new mom one piece of advice, it would just be to embrace the madness and enjoy the chaos. Embrace the chaos. You know, cope as best you can, sit down when you can, and drink lots of coffee. I don't know where I'm going. Embrace <laughs> the chaos. <laughs> OK. No sweet home. This definitely seems a lot more chill oh than the last God. couple of episodes. Apart from the vibe. Girly. Is that a mirror? Boy. Before they meet their new families, Mandy and Yannon get they, the chance they told to us have a good are. snoop around their new Usually homes. they're like New South oh, Wales. Like a woman. Have three children. Beautiful family. Beautiful. Right. So it looks like there's a Sean and a Jade. Oh my God, it's the infamous S. So it looks like there's a Sean. Look, look, look. We were doing this specific like super S way back when I was in school in like the early nineties. T. And a Jade. Jade. Okay. Very nice. It's rather cute. It's a beige, wow. it's got an island. My God, dog. Very changing room. Oh. Look at those window okay. sizes. Oh, um, massive windows. And a little dog. I never had a dog. I mean, it quite spotted you. The dogs. Hello. You have a what? I'm quite scared about it. Oh no, dogs. scared of dogs. Too much, so too much scared nice of dogs. Dining room. Oh, there's a homework. Reading, mats, clean the table, and then they can play games. So it's already more rules than... Oh, we've got some more rules here as well. Okay. Oh my goodness. Rules, oh, regulations. Wow. Colour. Beautiful colour. to apply to the council. Oh, she does cheerleading. So that can my daughter. Okay. Oh, this must be Jade's Discipline. room. Ah. Oh. That's funny because I was actually thinking about learning Mandarin, so maybe, maybe this is my chance. I think Jade and I will have quite a bit in common just because of what Jamie and Brooke do, so I think I'll be okay. Oh, TV free activities. Oh dear. Okay. Right, so. So is this going to oh. be technology versus no technology? Rules versus 
fewer rules. Oh. Wow. Welcome to your abode. Abode, girl. This abode. This is very lovely. Oh. Okay, so this is confusing me a little bit. There's a pole in the middle of the room with mirrors, and we've got bars. So this is for dancing. So I will be learning. I will be learning Chinese and pole dancing while I'm here, obviously, which is pretty exciting. Isn't it always the quiet ones? Pole dancing? Well, this has taken a turn. Imagine if it's his. Is he a cross-dresser? Mandy and Yannon have both written a detailed manual with the rules of the household explained. For the first two days, they must follow these rules, but then they get a chance to impose their own. Yes? Laura, my name is Amanda Ransom. Amanda, girls! Everyone girl. calls me... Oh, Man Amanda Byram! Caress the banister! Why aren't you making it to the banister? Our family is a big one. Downstairs is a granny and a grandpa. Hmm, sounds like us. My name is Yunnan, Chinese, the controller of the house. So Ooh. she sounds like me. The controller <laughs> Simon, of the house. Very handy to have, which is like Marcus, nickname Fartbag. Well, that's good to know. Fart I'm definitely feeling bag. a lot better now, I think, because obviously she's fart got a sense bag. of humor. Your nickname Fartbag. The straights are out of control. She pisses when she boards. Sometimes she shorts. The children know that if one of us has said no, the answer is no. And there's no point asking the other parent. Okay. Well, I hope my, hope my children and my husband heard that. But I haven't found the parenting style to suit our kids the best. I set up the rules, but no one follows. I feel so frustrated and helpless sometimes. Oh my goodness. I think, um, and we'll find out this week, um, if you get the kids to respect you and if you're kind to them and you respect them and they give the respect back, they want to help you so you don't have to shout at them to get them to do the stuff you want them to yes, do. Yes, they are I'm essentially little, you know, little grown-ups in training. They're allowed to make mistakes because they are little grown-ups trying to understand how the world actually works. The autonomous and the problem solvers. I don't jump up and run to them every time. Okay. <laughs> well, I jump up every time, I feel like. Don't worry, they aren't terrible kids. They're good hearted ones, but sneaky though. This is interesting. They can't wait to meet you and to send me away. Different no vibes. Bond, no rules, no stress. Yay! They seem to think it'll be easier. I think they're going to be right. <laughs> I think it is going to be easier. The wait is over, and now it's time for Yannon and Mandy to meet their new family. So is it a house that's like, I run my house on encouragement and I run my house on rules? Is that what we're seeing here? Although some of the wording in that like message book, seemed a little bit like both of them were quite strict. Especially the part about like, oh, when one of them makes a mistake, I don't always leap to their help. I'm like, oh, that's a little bit like, find out for yourself, girl. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I've come into this episode with lots of feelings and they've immediately transferred to the other way around. So, interesting. Also, visited by heavenly light once more. Right, here we go, the meeting. Oh. Hello, Fartbag. <laughs> Hello, nice Fartbag. Hi, Simon. Hi, Jane. How are you, Jolene? I have a cuddle. There you <laughs> Thank go. You. Great mum. Hi. Hi. You? Yes. Cuddles, please. Oh, you know you're as tall as I am. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. It was funny how she, how she called my dad Fartbags. It was, it was really funny. Say hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Yenan. Marcus. Hi, yes. This you is must Brooke. be um, Brooke. Say hello, yes. Brooke. Hello. Say hi. Nice Brooke. to meet you. And are you Jimmy? Yes, nice Jumage. to meet you. Um, and that's Ashton. Don't tell. Yeah, oh. Ashton, Ashton. <laughs> oh, no, it's it, no, it's it, no, no, it's it. Oh, the all last very quiet family member for Yannon to encounter is Jessie. Sit. Want to meet some new people? Say hello. Oh, little doggy. Hello. Yeah. What time do you guys normally go to It is interesting how people that don't really, like, know how to interact with dogs always go for, like, to stroke a dog's head. Dogs are very much like, I'm gonna lick you if you're putting your hand in my face. If you try to stroke their chest, usually it's a bit more of, like, a more elegant greeting. Usually. Not always, but usually. It's an ugly routine. Right. But as darlings. <sighs> yeah. You put, we try to get them to bed at eight, because mm. we've got... I mean, I've got email. We've got emails and mm. stuff we want to do. We can't. I can't relax until they are in mm. their in their beds. By ten o'clock, if they're if I'm still chasing yeah. the bed, that's when I've I've lost my patience and yes. I've, and all it does is rock in and up. Mm. Of course, I get home. I want to have a happy wife. And initially, when I get home, I've got a happy wife. Mm. But by ten o'clock, I have a very unhappy mm. wife. I think because I'm not their mom, they will go to bed when I ask them to, or at least pretend that they're getting ready for bed more than they would for their own mom. Oh, I don't like this heavenly light visitation. I must 
close the wine dwarge. There we go, lighting change, girls. They seem like they're going to respect that and listen to that. We will see after a day or two, though. Well, um, girls, we shall see. Sabrina Chan. Thank you so much, Mandy, for oh, thinking that. about the details and the thinking to look after me. At the moment, I'm still kind of feeling like, oh my goodness, what have I signed myself up for? These drone shots are gorgeous. I'm missing Marcus terribly. It's very strange to not be able to phone him and tell him what's been going on today. So far, we are 15 minutes into this episode and we haven't had any drama or any, like, disagreements or anything. We've had some interesting, like, background information, though, that kind of makes me go a bit like, oh, not sure how I feel now what it's time to know about that, girl. Um... You know, all the different things that I've seen and read and all of this. All the um, things. Messing with kids as people. well. Definitely coming towards bedtime. It's getting harder. It's day two in the White Day two in the beach, and girls. The families are still living all right, under she's the got the Dyson. I found out this morning that Simon Dyson. does the vacuuming. I was drinking a cup of coffee and talking to the kids and he grabbed the vacuum and just started walking around and giving the house a quick vacuum. Yes. Well, that is very like easy this. to do. Uh, it's literally... Uh, little bits of rubbish on the floor. It, it irritates me. And just grab the vacuum cleaner, the battery one, and just... Wah. It's done with ulterior motives in mind, you know. It's like, the more I do, the less she has to do, so the more I can have of her time. So, yeah, it's... Well, that's, that's key. Done. Nana also does all the washing. So she popped in very early this morning and put a load in the machine. The beds need to be made. But okay. other than that, I don't really know what I need to do for the rest of the day. So, so I'm glad I bought my book. Yeah, so I Without see Simon it and... seems like they've got a pretty well-managed household so far, just from that small little section that we saw in the morning. It seems like everyone does a little bit of something. I actually quite like seeing a man with a vacuum. Like, it just makes me feel like, oh, do you know what? Yeah, doing something. I don't know why. Does that feel like minimalist? Like, oh, the mini bare minimum is being done, and we're all like, hooray, a vacuum. Nana's help. Yannan's got a full day of housework ahead of her. Right, I see. So she doesn't have nanny, and she doesn't have a husband to do the hoovering. I see. I, um, personally, I don't think it's necessary because you used to think all the time, especially in the kitchen. Um, I see. So she wants to bleach the sink every day? And just to create more works. Mandy, she seems a very tidy person, doing cleaning regularly, mop the floor, which I don't too often. Um, yes, I will do her job. Okay, okay. Be honest, I don't know how to. Um, so, please don't love Mandy if you say I'm doing something wrong. I just try. So if... Okay, let's let's do that. Yeah, um, no, I don't think this is correct. Sorry. It should have a thing that goes keep over it. To hold. Oh, I see. Hold. No. No. Okay, let's try. Well, sort of. Right, right. Oh, it's a kind of a little bit. It's not really mopping, is it? Is With it? nothing to do, like everything's a lot more chilled out at the estate. Oh, embroidery, girls, live, I've love. Been in about six or seven years, so this is the first time in a very long time that I'm getting to sit down and just be quiet and do it. Okay. It seems like Simon works all day and then comes home and, and does the housework. Nene is doing the washing and the cooking, the kids are doing their own lunches, so I just kind of feel like if, how am I gonna show the kids what they mean to me if I'm not doing anything for them? Oh, it's wash day for what you. an interesting dynamic that's kind of once again completely transformed how I'm thinking about this episode. So from so far, it sounds like Amanda might be inferring that like Yanan's place in the household is like she doesn't quite understand what she does. Take. At the Wallen camps. So I'm not sure if they wash the clothes separately. Kids one goes to a smaller one. The or... children's clothes go in the smaller washing machine? Because I have to wash clothes separately in my house. But already, Yannan's made a rookie error. Oh. So the wash powder. What? Coloured clothes with white? Where do I put the wash powder just in? <gasps> oh no, what she done? Oh no, what is it? Is that That's a tumble dryer? Fine. Oh no. <laughs> this is a dryer. Yes, I thought so. I saw oh no. <laughs> She's put <laughs> she put washing in the dryer. She's smaller in the dryer and then her clothes in the washing machine. And she couldn't find the powder, so she put it in the actual dryer. Oh no, she ruined it. Maybe like five thousand pounds of How interesting. So that does actually give me the vibe of like she hasn't done the washing in her own house for a while, and therefore not necessarily understanding what the different machines are. So I'm guessing Yanan then must have a full-time job that takes up like most of her time. 
I can't imagine someone like Yannan just being like, well, my job is to just sit down. I don't do anything else. Do you know what I mean? Interesting, very into We're learning a lot how the roller coaster, but more of a gentle coaster through a scenic, confusing route. So I am going to meet Jade past the dairy, right. past the nursery school at the park, which I'm hoping is here. I'm going to meet somewhere. Jade oh, at the park. This is a bit concerning. I've already lost do my child. I've only had her for one day. No That's park? park yes. Oh, yeah, they're not allowed phones, are they? So they're like, what? Aware? I hope she is here somewhere. Do they have to borrow each other's cars? I didn't know where cars? she was. I thought she would rush to the park to get to me, but she was dawdling and taking her time. So I was getting really nervous. A little bit outside the comfort zone, especially as I, as I don't recognise any of the kids, so I don't even know if she's on the way or... But we definitely said here, so I'm definitely at the right place. And I need to chill. Oh, how alarming, yeah. I was wondering why you were taking so long. <laughs> You're here now. My kids get picked up from the pickup area, you know, at a safe time every day, and they come straight to the car. There's no faffing or dawdling. Yes, interesting. The bonding isn't going quite as well for Yenon and the Wallenkamp kids. Oh, dear, really, no. I'm not sure if the kids like me, but the kids, didn't, I didn't get kids a uh, response. Oh, oh, yeah. in the box. How Think about day? what you've done. Um, Aston. They don't do homework at home, because I asked Jamie, she said, mom doesn't give the extra homework. So if I ask him to do homework, they will hate me. <laughs> Yes. Do you I normally do live like your life is by your long. phone? Do you, watch, do you normally live your life by your phone? Do you watch the time constantly? Uh, no. No? Lucky. Not unless we've got somebody to be or oh, someone to pick lucky, up. Lucky you. It's, it is... I, I live, we live our life by the, the clock. I have found that I do need to prompt the kids quite a bit. They know what they need to do, but they just don't want to do it. They, you know, they, they would rather just sit and relax for a little while, particularly straight after they get home from school. They don't want to rush to the next activity. You've got two more minutes, OK? Two, three minutes. Finish what you're doing and come upstairs. Sean! Yeah. Come on! Yeah, and complains this about is the, so the kids weird. not getting to bed at 8 o'clock. Well, I know we're, you know, we're causing the problem because we're making them stay out till 7 o'clock and they've got to fit in all those... It would be know, one thing if it was like one or two days a week, but it's yeah. every day. Like Sean with his instruments, he specifically asked me to, to cancel his music <laughs> lessons as a part of the rule change because he doesn't want to play his instruments. Yeah. I think bedtime is hard for the kids because they don't get any downtime. They busy. This busy, feels like a completely different episode from like the rest of the season that we've been watching. This feels a lot. We're getting a lot more like behind the scenes kind of thing. Like the idea there that she's just said one of the children came up to her and said, "I don't want to do my music lessons." It's so like production behind the scenes. Like, don't share that. Make that a dramatic like rule change situation for like drama in the parents. That's so weird. Oh, what an interesting. This is. It's. It's almost like this is the pilot episode. And the other ones aren't. They're busy, busy, and then expected to just go lie down With and go to sleep. And they haven't actually been able to process the day and turn off. Are you guys allowed to watch on TV while you're eating? Yeah? Wow. My kids are very busy after school. They don't have time to sit down to watch on TV. After school, they normally just go to activities straight right. away, come home, yes. dinner, and then Extracurriculum bedtime. activities are kind of important. The kids being they look great TV on CDs and personal bedtime. statements as well. Um, it's different. It's time for bed in both households. Oh, right, I see. Eight o'clock, right. bedtime. Yeah. Do you go downstairs to bed? Interesting. Did he fall? Okay, one down. Let's see. One and. How odd. One and. I don't know if that means. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it means a good night. Manny's oh. experiencing the daily battle of wills that is the Estale's bedtime. Oh dear, watermelon the before was bed. He could have dessert or go down and play. Yeah. And he said he wanted to go down and play and he didn't want to eat anything else. And he's having uh, watermelon and two muesli bars. You want to brush your teeth? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, you need water now? Yeah. Okay, um, and whatever you don't eat, I'll finish. Any excuse that they could have to come in and kind of walk around and see what was going on, Interesting. they took. 10 past 9, and the goal was half past 8. Interesting. So that's 40 minutes over schedule. Would they behave like this? Can read? Without? Yeah. Okay. Can you put your pyjamas on? He seems a bit old to be going to bed at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., that seems, he seems a bit, well, obviously it depends what time they have to get up, but still. 
Eight o'clock seems very early. I just don't know anymore. OK, yeah, I'll put my... Good night. Good night, Darlene. The second day, I feel exhausted, tired... And It'll be rule change now, won't it? Miss my husband. This episode's going really quick. Continually making mistakes and make people laugh. It's, I think, about quarter to ten or ten to ten. The kids are still wide awake and bouncing around the house. Oh, dear. Which is pretty exhausting. But why isn't the father uh, stepping in and being like, look, you know bedtime, and child? The kids are still awake, especially as they keep coming out the room. So I'm looking forward to rule change tomorrow for that reason. What if I read That's to you? That's funny, because, like, usually teenagers look for any excuse to go to their bedroom and, like, never come out. So it's interesting that as soon as someone else new is in the house, they're like, I want to be outside my room. I can't remember how old that oldest uh, boy child is, though. Yeah, what Will are you, you doing outside? straight into bed? You need to be in bed Without reading. Asleep. Will you? Okay, that's a deal then. Let's do this. Okay. Off to bed. Resulted to bribery. <laughs> so, Sean is finally sleeping, and it is now... 10 to 11. That's... Um, and there, his bedtime is like three hours ago. he's finally gone to bed. Hmm. I feel so embarrassed and mad and by myself. I felt I just want to... Dig a hole and, Why? and bury myself in it. The Why? Rules are what? She feels embarrassed. She wants to bury a hole and bury herself in it. Why? What? Is there some sort of like storyline we're not being told here? Because she seems like she's genuinely upset about something. And uh, have we seen anything apart from the kids being a bit like, no, say, are we watching the same show? It's rule change day. Right, rule and change day, girl. Right, to reveal what a new Salem. regime to their family. Okay, so this right. is a family that loves each other. You can see they love each other, right, but they don't give the time chair. to actually show each other. So that's what I try and bring in. These houses are so big and A little bit light. nervous. I don't, not sure about what the kids will react. They may like it, they may feel like a strange thing to do. <sighs> Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. So you know we're doing rule change today. OK. Yeah. Mm. So that's pretty exciting, eh? Mm. So what I've noticed in the last few days is things are way too frantic here. Everyone's very busy. No one can relax. Everyone gets tired and grumpy. People start shouting and nobody listens. Interesting. So these are my new rules. OK. Bed. All of you. Immediately. With regards to screen time. <laughs> Because the kids don't get a lot of time on screens, I find that they are just obsessed with screens and that seems to be all that they can think about. So, okay. I will be allowing more screen time. However, it will be supervised. Jade, you will need to sit in the dining room or the lounge where I can see you, and Sean, you will need to leave your bedroom door open. You can only go on your screens after you've done your homework, and you have to stop when we eat dinner. Um, I like it. OK, yeah, that's yeah. tea, tea. I mean, yes, like children do like a little bit of a challenge. They do like a little bit of freedom, but also they do need to be monitored because the internet is a pretty unruly place right now. If you tell a child, no, you can never have that. Don't ever have that. No, it makes the thing more exciting and naughty. If you demystify taboo, it can kind of make everything seem a bit more normal. And then eventually the idea will be like, oh my gosh, you know, when I'm eating, I just put my phone down, which is kind of what you need. But I feel like it's very strange to be teaching children explicitly like no screens ever, except on the weekends and only if, because it's like screens are actually a huge part of adult life forever. So you'd want to surely prep your kids enough to be able to navigate these problems themselves. As soon as you start making something like naughty and really, really, really exciting without giving a child enough room to grow and experience their own things and be like, oh, actually, you know, I've come to the decision that I don't need all of this screen time, then that's important. Or oh, it, is, it is a balancing act though, because video games and screen time is hugely addictive. She's educated. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Right, obviously the children Under have the it, yeah. new rules, there will be no TV games or no screen TV. time before or during dinner time. Instead, there will be half an hour of homework and lunches will be made. For next half an day, hour is fine. And dinner cleanup will be team effort. 30 minutes on the laptop and 30 no, no, minutes, 30 minutes on the VR altogether. and 30 minutes on the PlayStation and then 30 minutes on the on your Oh, phone? she's trying to do business. I, the homework one. I don't know what kind of homework she's got. I hope I it's know, not right. Really Chinese hard. writing. I think Kids need to be kids. Oh, are these children a little bit like problematic? Oh, like why would they, why would a child just randomly say that? I don't know. Maybe they've been worrying about that. Maybe there's something going on behind the scenes here. Cause maybe that's why she said that she felt quite upset and she wanted to like embarrassedly dig a hole and bury herself in it, which is a really loaded phrase for this, but also half an hour of homework for children that are in school 
is fine. Wait till they get to university and their whole life is homework, like awful. So I'm gonna loosen up on the homework. Loosey you only goosey. need to do what the teacher Try to get Lucy on my goosey. <laughs> Dining room table so I can help you and keep an eye on it on you. And you also have to do it when I ask you the first time. You have to come up and do it straight away. Okay, so they're both We do this. Wait, the so they're both doing you. they're both doing homework, no? Wait, is that also homework? I can help you and keep an eye on it. It needs to be done at the dining room. You need to do what the teacher gives you, but again it needs to be done at the dining room table. Oh I see, is that the difference we're experiencing? So she doesn't give additional homework, she just gives homework from school, whereas Yanan gives additional homework on top of the homework from school. I see, I understand the problem, understand it here. If you aren't a teacher, the chances are that you're probably not going to be able to teach your children as well as someone who's dedicated their life to teaching. But also, it is up to you. Your prerogative is your prerogative. I do think an extra half an hour every day on top of the homework that they already get could potentially be a bit much. But yeah, I'm gonna open that to the floor. What do you think? What do you think? I'm not having kids, so I don't care. Biscuits homework is please eat your food. <laughs> so I can help you and keep an eye on it on you. And you also have to do it when I ask you the first time. You have mm -hmm. to come up and do it straight away. We do less homework, or hardly any homework, because I don't get much homework for my school anyway. Me too. Ah, um, tea. Yeah, I actually like it. I like yeah, it I like Mandy's rolls too. Okay. Number two. No sweet treats before bed. That includes flavored milk, chocolates, cookies. Instead, you will have milk, fruit, uh, fruits, and a water. Biscuits. A delicious treat of Biscuits. water. And some fizzy drink. Yes, but not before I bed. I understand that. Like, I don't know. The older you get, the more you realize that you can't actually have these things before bed. Like, I know that if I want to get to sleep at a sensible time, I can't really have any caffeine after like 5 p.m. realistically, because otherwise I'll be like, wow. And I know that if I drink Pepsi Max and have chocolate and ice cream at 10 o'clock at night, my sleep's going to be awful. I'm going to feel sick. I'm going to be awake. I'm going to be buzzing, sugar rush, sugar crash, all sorts. So, yes, I think instilling this in children is a good idea. Options from the fridge and the pantry. She took in the, the pantry. Yes, yeah, so no sweets or chocolates before bed. Well, that's good. That is good. I agree. That's good. Jimmy, she has very strong personality. She, you know, she. Of course probably she does. She's a growing girl. I don't like to. They do. have very They're strong personalities. Cooperating, you know, doing what you tell, you know. Maybe, maybe be difficult. Maybe he, she's perfect. Yeah, it's hard to know. I think doing what you're told is a very loaded phrase to say to children. Like, because I said so, do as you're told, is such like unexciting ways of trying to get someone to do something. I'd, I've never had kids, so I've never had to really raise myself through this process. But I feel like growing adults love challenges and they love to feel something. They love to feel a sense of responsibility. So instead of it being such a like, do as I say, why don't you rephrase it as, I don't know, rephrase it as like business day, like businesses, like let's make great decisions together for yours and I's future. Like make it exciting. Nobody likes to be told because I said so. But if you say like, oh, well, this will be the outcome that you'll get and then you'll be able to do this because you already love that. Sounds like a lot more exciting. Like kids don't like to go to bed. They really don't. But also when you grow up and you become an adult, nothing feels more exciting than just going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, this is for you. You right. are frantic because you're working seven days a week, all hours, and then you're going to do the housework as well. So right. the new rule is no housework unless I ask you to do something. I don't want you coming home and stressing out because you can see something on the carpet or something hasn't been done. <laughs> if you've noticed it, Mum's noticed it. I'd rather just get stuck in and do it myself, but um, I'll give it a shot. Interesting. Bedtime is an absolute nightmare, and I'm sure Simon, will you will agree. You guys are not getting enough sleep and you're going to be grumpy. Yes. So my new rule Grumble is bums. everyone will follow a new bedtime routine and you're going to stick to it. Mm -hmm. We'll be starting that tonight. I will explain that to you, but not just now. One of the reasons you're not sleeping is your eating habits. Yes. We are going to be mindful about what we eat and there will be no food eaten after eight. I'm not sure if I'll sleep at eight, but I might sleep like a bit after that. I'm excited. Um, well, yes, bedtime doesn't mean sleep time. Yeah, me too. It means time to, to wind down. To introduce you to new foods and then my culture, we will go to have a yum cha lunch. I would like you to try at least two foods yes. that you have never had before. Love that. I don't want to eat any Chinese So, Ashton, what are the three rules that we have now? Um, three rules? You're like 100. It was three cards, like yeah. 50 oh, rules. Children. The Estale's new bedtime rules no, are explained no further you. at dinner. Everybody understands at the table. Jade, you'll go to bed at 8.30 and we'll turn the light off. For sure, you will turn your light off at 9 and then you don't come out of your rooms. You stay in your room, okay? 
and somebody will come in to check on you every five minutes and then every 10 minutes until you guys get used to that. But you have to stay in your rooms. Interesting. But you've only got two days. I understand where I'm coming change? from. And they are obviously excited about the no homework and the more screen time rule. So I think it was okay. But we'll see you later. A balancing act. Oh, I wonder your how it's going to work. I wonder if the children will be like, no, I want to be rebellious. Uh, <laughs> Took some cups. All right, what's good? Come on. Her rules aren't that bad. They're not the worst, but they're not that good. Hey! Okay, but you are also a child Cheers. who will naturally oh, want geez. to just reject oh, everything because you're at that okay. age. Look, see? What are we going to do? Am I going to read it all or are you going to read some? I'll read some. Okay, I'll read down with the you read it. It's, um, it's quarter two, so you've got 15 more minutes to play. Um, I'm going to make Jade some Milo. You don't want a banana or some yogurt because this is the last chance. I, I'm anticipating some problems with the no eating after eight. I rule. imagine so. I don't the first know how well time. that's going to go down mm -hmm. later. It seems okay for now, but we'll see just now. Do you know what I did like? I did like that she gave him a time warning rather than being like, get off now when you're right in the middle of something because that's really frustrating. She gave him a time warning, 15 minutes. You know, most games, you know, if you're playing like Fortnite or something, and maybe like League of Legends, obviously he was on a console, so maybe it was Fortnite or Call of Duty or something like that. 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 25 at a push is generally a match, like a full match. And if you're playing a game that's like not online, then you can pause it at any time. So 15 minutes is fine. I do like that. I think that's a very great way to approach it to be like, just so you know, you're having a warning and then it's gonna stop. Cause that sort of will teach children to be like plan ahead a little bit. If he goes like, well, no, I'm still playing. And she's already given a warning. Then he's just trying to test his luck. Come on. No, Jimmy, and James? do you want to rinse the dishes? So, and so uh, H10 will load them, yeah? Oh! I don't know what to do. So you just, you literally just do that. What do I do with the big plates? The same thing. You're really clever, you're quite smart, hey? Jamie, she tried to be difficult. She just, uh, you know, she's a kid. And she's learning as well, but she just didn't know how to uh, communicate or, or ask me. She was probably worried, should I talk to her? And that, never mind, she probably not understand. High five. Right down. Good job. Oh, wow. Three hit five fives. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Interesting. Quirky children. 8.30 p.m. And Jade is fast asleep. Right, bedtime. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You've made my heart sing. Okay. Thank you for doing this. So you're going gonna to read or you're going to do? Just chill out. I want to chill out. Wait, is that his bedroom? Why has he got a pole in his bedroom? What? Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a reason? I can't... Oh, no. Okay, cool. Dad will be down shortly. Wait, but is that you. not his bedroom? Thank you very much for listening so nicely. Okay. It was very nice of you. Well done. This time last night, 8.30 last night... Whose pole is that? was outside with the watermelon. Sean was playing on the hammock. And Simon was running around like a, a blue-headed fly, so... Very different. When I go back home, I will say thanks to my family and show my appreciation about oh. they um, did to me and make me happy. Coming next she is not ha Like, something is going on behind the scenes here because she is not happy in this swap. And I don't know what it could be, but we're just not shown any of that. Like, her confessionals are such a different vibe to what we're actually seeing in the show. Something's going on there. That's a bit weird. Let me know your vibes. Today's the first full day the of the new rules. First it's nice to have some control back with regards to housework and dinner and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh. I just think, I do believe kids need to be kids and uh. they are able to pack the dishwasher, but if they'd rather be playing or, you know, doing homework or one of the other activities, I'm happy to help, happy to yes, do it. Yes, but packing a dishwasher like takes like Simon, if I three minutes help, I'll, maximum. I'll this morning, it felt like waking up and like running around the house because I, I was all like energetic. Oh! New bedtime rules. Seems good. Seems to work well, but with uh, Yenin's to keep at it. Uh, will be something to see, but uh, that is his yeah, room. We'll have to see how that goes. Why is there a stripper pole in that child's camps. room? It's the first day of extra. Why has no one talked about it? For homework. Right. Okay. Do you guys okay. do math today? Oh no. Like, do you do this in the in extra your maths? School? Great. Thank stuff. You. Jimmy Ashton, the healthy, competent, bright oh, kids. Yeah. But they don't do homework. <laughs> so well, they do I do homework, they don't do I extra homework. I got these smart kids. They're bright, they're funny. When they ask me, Mum, why do we need to do that? I said, well, for the good job in the future, come on. I did it all correct. Mm. 
Oh gosh, she's mocking me now? It was really bad. More like, I just didn't want to do it because I was really, not that it was boring, but I just didn't want to do it. Jimmy, can I see yours? Oh dear. Can I see because I got really bored. I can tell. We're very new to each other. We, yeah, um, she's pushing your boundaries. We get to know each other and are still learning to fill in. So I still expect more appreciation from them. Okay. So I think if you're in a position where you can get extracurricular like tutoring for your kids, that is going to 100% get them a better quality of life in the future. If you can get extra tutoring for maths, science, language, like I guess even like computer programming now, like so many things in life require better than basic maths. And sometimes when you are in a state educated school, they will give you the base minimum of maths and science. So I do actually agree with extracurricular, not homework as such, but I think tutoring is a great way to do it. If you are able to do that for your kids, you are doing a great service for them. It's good writing and a good no, job. It was it. Great work. I <laughs> Even just a little hated bit. that. So, see, Sean, that's strange. That? Like, something's going on here. The fact that she was like, I hated it. It was boring. I hate it. But she did really well and is doing good work. And your nan seems to be really positive. There are... Mm. Earlier in the episode, Amanda and her family were like, we tried to instill on our children to be lovely and respectful to everyone. I'm not getting that vibe. Are you... Afternoon, Jade and I are going to get our nails done. And right. you are going to stay home and do some housework. The nails? Me. Wait, what? Why can't well, he get his nails done? No, no, or something. We're gonna go to Murray's Bay and jump off the wall. I still enjoy having family. Oh, time, it was a joke! It oh, really we do have fun. My mum's usually always on the phone or like on the computer. My dad's always at work. So she is working so at home. She's I doing know you something. Guys have, and then we're gonna go and probably get a hot chocolate or something afterwards because it's oh, really fun. Oh, fun swimming in hot chocolate. Is that doing housework? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, Simon has to go into work. But that's okay, because the kids and I are going to just sit anyway, and I'm happy to spend time with these children, because they're yes. amazing. So we'll, we'll build some memories together. And I did, I promised Simon we'd try not to have too much fun without him. That is the tea. Like, building memories with your family, whoever your family consists of, even if it's just you, or you and your dog, or you and your boyfriend and your dog. How have you got that on your eyelid? You've got a piece of beef on your eyelid. <laughs> it is so important to build nice memories, and quite often nice memories aren't made on Zoom. But I don't think that's going to be the case. It's yum cha time, and the Wallen camps time. have been challenged by Yannon to try two new foods. Yum! Oh, Jane oh, will oh! Open to oh it. I love trying new foods. I'm gonna try a couple of things. I'm worried about Ashton because he doesn't eat anything. I'm sure there'll be he a lot of things. Oh, biscuit! You hear that? He doesn't do green, so we'll see how Ashton goes. Right. Hopefully, it'll be okay. Hopefully, oh, he doesn't throw too much attention. Oh, the thing is, Chinese food is so flavorful. Oh, I call this table is Ashton. Ashton. Very savory. If you want something, you just move it. Oh, that's After rather bijou. Yeah. I feel like a princess. So I introduced my culture to them, and then they accept, so they think, wow, it's very interesting. And um, this, you know, getting to know each other more. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love them. this. So this is deep fried dumplings. Do you want one? Deep fried dumplings. Okay. How do you say no? You'll love it. It's fried. This is yummy. There you go. See? I will have two of those. It's really hot. Let's see. Let's go, guys. Right. What's with the music change? It's nice thing about toddlers, you just pick them up. <laughs> Take okay. them out the door. <laughs> Mandy and the Estales brave a chilly breeze for a spot of wharf jumping. Wharf so jumping? You just up the stairs when you need to get out. What, next to fishermen? What about the lines? And the hooks? And the fish? Oh, I don't know about all this. This is the lap. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she goes, girl. Amazing time despite the weather. Yeah, I was going to say, it looked a bit grey for doing all that. Jade but... was a little bit nervous, but it was nice that she trusted me enough to jump into the water. There you go, the confidence was, building. I'd grab her and, you know, take her to safety, and Sean and I had a blast as well. Ah. It, was fun. it was warm in the water, and it was so cold outside the water. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was... I feel like this is illegal in the UK. I feel like you can't just go to a wharf and jump off. I feel like it's like, no, arrest that baby. Oh. Scandalous. It was a lot of fun. It'll right, so the water cool is warmer than the air around it. Okay. The wharf Very first. tropical. Hope she, hope hope she jumps off of us too. Hope she's not as scared as Jade and jumps off of Dad lots. Gagged. Are you going to jump again? Red for filth. Today. Not today, another day. 
You won't be scared next time? She probably will. I think she'll be scared next time. Yeah, Let's confidence building takes time. You're... I do tend to form bonds quite quickly, so that I knew that I would form some kind of an attachment with them. Yeah. These children are amazing, so... So I think it was a great way to end the week. Ah! What a weird episode. A weird. <laughs> Am I just so used to seeing so much extra drama going on that I'm like, what's going on behind the scenes? But then still, it doesn't explain why Yana and his so sad in her confessionals. Surely Yannan's gone too far with the final dish. Oh, what is it? Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Okay, oh, that is, yeah, oh I, well, obviously God. I wouldn't because vegetarian, but Look yes, the chicken fingers. feet. Let's have it. That's chicken clearly feet. shock value though. Yeah. Oh, if the adult doesn't like it. Tastes like chicken. It was definitely a really nice thing for your nan to do, you know, expose us to a little bit of her culture. Um, I guess good for the kids to see that as well. Your nan, should I try the chicken feet? Oh, she's not, she's not like, oh, you have to. She's like, would you like to? <laughs> yeah, I do kind of feel a bit like shocked as well. I don't think I'd be like, but it's a freaking, like, I can see the hat. Like, just scrape some off, Anna. Oh, that was a nail. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think. Go for it, James. Tell me not I eat it, I eat it, I eat it. And? That's not so bad. No, it's really chewy. <laughs> oh! That was so funny. He was just eating the chicken feet, like, not even doing it. He was just like, ran, like, nobody even knew it. High five. <laughs> And he was the one who was like, no, I don't want to eat any of all that. <laughs> nice okay. I thought I hate to refuse anything, just sit in there, be grumpy. Isn't it brilliant how food can bring people together? I think I've said this multiple different times throughout this series alone, is that like the act of cooking and like eating food as a family or as like a community is so important for building bridges. I think a lot of it might be down to like, food releases endorphins and makes you feel things. And if you're having that collective experience with other people, it can make you feel like stronger and closer together, unless you're on the Real Housewives of Boopity Boo, and then they just argue over food. Do you want to know? You never stand that every time. Never go after my Every bitch. You know why. I mean, it's awesome. It is awesome. awesome. Right, the wives are packing for home now. It's Tight not me easy out. coming into someone else's house and having to follow their rules. So that, that took a bit of getting Salmon. used to. With regards to being a mom, I think I've learned that I'm actually pretty happy with the way I do things. Yes. There's a lot of like mama bear guilt that I was feeling before. If I'm doing things right, am I too soft on the kids? Do I need to encourage them to do more or be more active? I guess we'll see I'm going home reunion? at the end of this week feeling like I've, I've got this. The kids can't wait to see their mom. Um, yeah, I'm very um, happy for Mandy that you know, her family you know, loves Love her. her so much. Yes. Can't wait to see her. Yeah. It's time to go. <laughs> Can we say goodbye? I don't know. Is this weird? I don't know. Oh. Oh, gonna miss you so much. Yeah. Hi, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. And I'm uh, gonna take you to the karaoke one day. Yeah. Yeah. With your mom. Take you to karaoke. Oh, that's cute. Oh. oh, a little present. Oh, Lovely, so nice. kind, so caring, much. friendly, oh, wait. super. Yeah, definitely will be nicer and kinder and uh, just uh, try to be the mum they want me to. Hey guys. There's a, there's a real like sadness around your nan and I don't understand why. From the context we've been given on this show, it's like everything seems fine, but she seems really sad. <laughs> it's so weird to watch. I have to say goodbye now. Yeah, these children are amazing. So, you know, my heart's my heart's very heavy. Oh, she was like, hug me properly. I don't even think I can talk about it at the moment. But luckily, oh, there's a happy ending lady. because obviously I will get to see my children Sobbing and at the end of the day. You are trustworthy, the Sean. You need to remember that, and you are capable of great things. That's and I love good. your respect you have for everyone. I still don't and understand why he has a in his bedroom. bedroom. And you've got such a beautiful heart, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't change a hair on your head or a toenail on your toe. <laughs> okay. I, I really, really attached to these children out as well. So I wouldn't change your like, toenails. Really weird not seeing them. I'm getting all silly again. Well, I hope Bye -bye. this sort of Bye. sounds like they might become like good, decent friendship. I don't know that the, the husband gave me weird vibes in the beginning, but nothing else has. Town, the nerves are sitting in. I don't know, maybe I am overthinking a little bit because I'm so used to seeing shows in which everything goes wrong all the time. That's like, 
Maybe it's trauma, girls. I like the bikes. A little bit nervous. I'm seems, nervous as well. Seems a bit nervous. Bizarre. It's very surreal. You know, you've been away from here for a week, but surreal no painting, melting yeah. pot. Yeah. Yes. How would all would happen in a bad, <laughs> a bad yes. situation? Right. Another strict mom's. He's brought flowers. Her. She's gonna make her make them do mass homework. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Another strict mom's coming home. She's gonna make her make them do mass homework. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Oh, you he didn't me. bring anything for her. No flowers. <laughs> oh, look, he is obsessed with her, isn't he? Hmm. I don't know. Crazy person. Is it all? I don't know, it feels a bit like fourth. The wives and husbands meet. I don't know. 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 For the first time to talk about the experience. I feel like I know you. Yes. Your children are amazing. Okay. You're doing such a good job. Okay. Yeah, well, exactly. I wouldn't know. Now, what's your six days tell me about? I was. Quite sad leaving my children, so I was oh, happy. To, really? I was happy to see that that you had um, like kids the same kind of age. Okay. That made it easier. My first day, I remember you didn't think there's anything will be that any drama, you know, trouble she not or, right? yeah. or embarrassment there. But I'm sorry, I put this wash powder in your dryer. Oh, the washing powder in the dryer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's different appliances. It's an awful day for me. And she made me miss home. Yeah. Nan has kept the house like spotless the whole week. Like I've never lived in a home that is that clean no, all the thanks. time. Thank no, you. but <laughs> what I've realized is that you only have like the 40 minutes in the day. You know, then I'm coming home at night and then trying to help you yeah. with stuff. And I'm like, what's she complaining about? You know, you do everything for your kids. You love them so much. I'm a learner. You were the answer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like my I think the biggest change well, there was a couple of big ones, wasn't there? It was um, no homework other than what the teachers gave them. Oh, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Just because they have so many activities in the afternoon and they didn't have any time to unwind. What, what did she tell you every time you took it to an, an activity? Oh, she's going to hate me. But Jade, sometimes if you just drop her off at the door and you don't actually take her inside, she hides in the bathroom. <laughs> and she doesn't actually do the... You didn't tell me that. Let's, oh. let's do that. Jeez. Tell you what. I get a bit of trouble to get along with Jimmy. She's, I mean, she's fine for her age. She's probably curious. She's missing you so much. Yes. I was wondering if she likes me until... She doesn't like Today, she, I do not push myself to, to, you know, sit down to make something with her, because I'm not yeah. confident to do that. Yeah. So I don't know if she likes me to do that or yeah. she feels... Oh, I see. So there was obviously a little bit of, like, <laughs> something there. <laughs> no, I've definitely missed Mandy quite a bit this week. It's, it's been a I think there was something there between um, obviously the child and the adult there. That's what I think has happened behind the scenes. Maybe that's why Yanan was quite so upset during the confessionals. And maybe that's also why they felt the need at the beginning to say, we try and teach our children to love everyone. Mm, I don't know though, I don't know. Sometimes things are just difficult. A little tough, especially looking after the kids because you know they need their mom and they're still young and I've had to do that for them, especially with Brooke. What have I missed about you? Everything. Everything. You are the centre of my life, whether I'm at work or at home. When I'm at home, my hands and lips are on you a hundred times yeah. a day. My thoughts, when I'm not there, I'm thinking about you all the time. Not I don't know why, and maybe it's because I'm trans and I've, I've spoken to men like this, but it feels like he's a bit chasery. And I mean that in like a, like, Everything he's done so far doesn't seem like a problem, but sometimes it is. You know when someone is just like, oh, oh I love everything about you, oh, I'm obsessed. It's like, mm, obsession is kind of an issue, actually. It's not a good thing. So I feel like he might be a bit chaser vibes. I don't know, any dolls in the audience? Do you see what I see? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? When I'm not there, I'm thinking about you all the time. Not have you, not been able to contact you at all and touch you at all. Physically or otherwise, it's been really hard. My hands have definitely been wondering what to do. Yeah, he hasn't touched me all week. <laughs> You're OK. He's very, um, he demands on... I'm very... A, a and have a shower person. together. Do you guys have a shower together? Wash yeah, each other. Yeah, see, chase her. 
<laughs> yes. yes, do it. This is what this is what we've been doing. Hey. And it's it's great. So we don't know what you like until you don't have it anymore. And then you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, Interesting. So I've had a very really good, like, positive experience. And I think I've learned a lot. I think, because I doubted myself, I thought I was a terrible mother. But, but now I'm thinking, like, some of the stuff I do is actually, it's good. It suits my, it suits my kids. It might not suit all the kids, but my kids are, you know, this is what they need to grow and to learn. And You appreciate me what you have. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I didn't. I've been too, you know, very hard on them. I will learn from you guys. You just 100% love your kids, and I think they're so lucky to have parents like you guys. I want to give this that is to like them, quite a... to feel, them to feel they're lucky to have a <laughs> nicer mom. Oh. <laughs> we're not friends, we're family now. Simon, you've been an amazing husband. Thank you, Mandy, Mum. Thank you. I feel so confused. I'm like happy, but also like, oh my God, how sad. For sure. Finally, it's time for the wives to go home. Right, what are they going to say? What's the tea? <gasps> oh, she's ecstatic. That child was like, yes, mummy. I'm so happy oh, to be home. Oh, the pop Great broke. reception from the kids. They oh, the dog. We haven't even seen much of the dog. Oh, so much. I missed you. I missed you a thousand to one. A thousand to one. <laughs> well, definitely will be more relaxed, less stressed, less strict, keep calm <laughs> and um, appreciate what my kids have um, been down to me and uh, yeah. <sighs> So, my lovelies, I've definitely got some uh, interesting takes on what we've seen today. First of all, this episode has taken me on a roller coaster of emotions, all within like the realms of safe. I haven't felt truly aghast, and I also haven't felt like, oh my goodness me, my heart bleeds. I've just felt kind of like, instead of a roller coaster going like this, I've been like, oh, 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 oh. Do you know what I mean? So, First of all, when we were introduced to these families, it sounded like it was going to be like strict parent versus no rules parent, which is absolutely not what has happened at all. I think both parents have a good grip on like, not strictness, but like management of a house, which isn't strict. Like I find strict parenting to be like, never do this, never do that. You're not allowed this, you're not allowed that. Maybe the screen time is kind of like, where that strict idea comes from. But I think actually what's happened here is production have tried to file like one of the families into a strict household when they're not actually a strict household. I do feel like limiting access to uh, potentially addictive activities is a good thing to teach children. Moderation, consideration, teach them, you know, would you rather be doing this or this to better your life? You know, I'm a huge fan of the phrase, you're not raising kids, you're raising adults. That's what you, you want to raise a functioning adult in society who can function by themselves. And unfortunately, I think sometimes parents get caught up in the aspect of like, let kids be kids, where it's actually like, yes, you can allow them to be explorative and grow their personality gardens, but you can also direct what that is without coming across as like overbearing and controlling. I loved the idea of seeing like uh, Amanda and then um, the swapped children actually go and do an activity together. Although wharf jumping seemed completely out of the blue. I think in the last episode we saw bowling. So I don't know, wharf jumping just does, does, maybe that's just like a cultural thing. Obviously I'm not from New Zealand. I would never want to go wharf jumping in the UK into freezing cold water and probably be like, I can't get out, it's too cold. I wouldn't want to do any of all that. I do, however, still want to reiterate the fact of, although on the outside, perhaps the relationship between Yanan and her husband is like loving, it did seem, he just gave me chaser vibes. Like, there is a phrase, if you are a, a doll or a trans woman, I mean, I guess this also happens to trans men as well. I think the phrase probably still exists, although I've not lived a trans man experience, so I can't quite attest to it. The phrase is tranny chaser. And that is someone who is, is different to an admirer. An admirer is someone who like admires you, wants to spend time with you, would date you, would, you know, do whatever. May, mayhap they are a little bit too interested in what's between your legs, but not to the detriment of the relationship. Whereas a chaser is someone who becomes fully obsessed with every part about you. Sometimes it also comes with a lot of baggage than being like, oh my God, no, I can't cope with the idea of dating a trans person, but like, I'm also deeply obsessed and it's making me manifest weird behaviors that are creepy and over the top. I get a little bit of that vibe from that guy. 
And I don't know, maybe I'm just reading a little bit too much into it. Maybe it's just a case of like, I don't know. It's just, I'm a little bit jaded from my own experiences. Any other dolls in the audience? Did you get that vibe? If you didn't, let me know. If you did, also let me know. Well, my lovelies, what an interesting episode this has been. I am thoroughly interested in any of your takes that you'll leave in the comments box below because it makes it very difficult to predict what how this episode is going to be received because I thought it was going to be dramatic, but it kind of was like surprising. Rather than shocking, it was surprising. And with that, my loves, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. If you'd like to join the Patreon and give this Chanel a little bit more support, have a little look at the link in the description box below. You can see all the different tiers, all the different rewards. Blah, 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 blah. And as always, my lovelies, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Emoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Warsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Kez, Min Min Tia, Moriah Sherman, Ms. Kiss, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Rubix.co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Stefutech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I think I'm gonna leave it on the note of I'm gonna be child free for my entire life. I have no interest in raising children, raising other people's children. I have no interest in having my own kids. Absolutely not. But from what I've understood is that sometimes children can just be difficult. And a lot of the time, it's usually. A, a phase they grow out of. Sometimes it isn't, but most of the time it is. So I feel like children need to be given room to grow. So try not to be a super strict parent because it doesn't usually work out for the best. But then again, who am I to tell you how to raise your kids? You do whatever you want, sis. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. <gasps> yes.